Some years ago, my great grandfather from my father's side was a sangoma and a cult leader. He killed seven siblings to build a goblin. The goblin is at his shrine under the Pacific Ocean. He wanted powers to heal, powers to do magics. The goblin is the main cause to my problems. It is said that the spirit wanted me to be his wife. Every man I date sees great grandfather's face on me. Yellow viewers, welcome once again to another episode of African Confessions HD right here on Extraordinary Africa. If you're still new in this show, we publish lifetime confessions. Uh, usually, we post anonymously for their own safety reasons. And in today's video, we have three confessions. So make sure you watch it to the end. And viewers, without wasting much of your time, let's go straight into our first confession. Our first confession goes as the following. Hello, uncle. Can you please post me anonymous? I am a lady aged 40. I am from Ghana. I was born in a village near Cape Coast. Staying with my mom and her parents. Mom died when I was 12. She died without telling me who was my father, his whereabouts, or even telling me one of my relatives from my father's side. I was young by then. I never asked mom about it. After mom's death, I stayed with their parents, my grandparents. I finished high school thanks to an orphan care organization for funding my school expenses. I did not pass, but they gave me money to start a business. I opened a car spare parts shop across the country. Since I was at high school, I never have a boyfriend. Actually, I hated men, but I thought it was going to change with time. So after I moved to town, I met this other guy. We started dating and got married after a one-month date. Age forced me to rush. Life with this man had not been easy. He was a drunken master. People who knew him from his roots says he was a good person when he was growing up but changed after getting married to me. I last saw his good side on our wedding day. We were always fighting. You could spend the whole day on social media. To worsen it, I was the only one working. I could beat him twice a day. He stole my money and went abroad. We failed to have a child together. In fact, we only met once since we get married. I was always feeling not interested in sleeping with him. He sent me a telegram message asking for forgiveness. He said he wished to stay with me. But an old man was coming in his dreams, threatening to kill him. But he was afraid to tell me since I was always in bad mood. I was married again. This one was after money. I realized he was married after he had already opened his own businesses across the country using my money. This stressed me. I am not getting married. I don't have a child. I'm being used by men who will inherit my properties. So this other day, I went to a Sangoma. I was suspecting that my problem might be a spiritual pro problem. The Sangoma told me that my great-grandfather from my father's side was a Sangoma and a cult leader. Years ago, he killed seven siblings to build a goblin. The goblin is residing at his shrine under the Pacific Ocean. He wanted powers to heal, powers to do magics. The goblin is the main cause to my problem. I am the only grandchild still alive. It has killed everyone. It is said that the spirit want me to be his wife. Every man I did sees the great father's face on me. The Sangoma gave me mood. 
to put in everything I eat to ease the challenge. I don't knew the sankoma was weaker than the spirit. When I returned home, I heard a voice of a man laughing. I screamed. Neighbors came, but they heard nothing. I am seeing the great grandfather in my dreams. Sometimes he could be chasing me towards an ocean. Sometimes he will be beating me. I returned to the Sangoma's place. To my surprise, there was a funeral. The Sangoma has been said to be now dead. And it was his funeral. I am going to other Sangomas. They are afraid to help me. Now these days, if I take a bath, I feel pain all over my body. I can't bath anymore. I am smelling. It's affecting me. I can't run my business well. The great grandfather is threatening to kill me. What should I do? Please help me. Yellow, please post me anonymous. So my story goes like this. I met a guy we dated so in a short period of time. About a month. Got pregnant. Then he took me to his house. I stayed there but would visit home too. Okay, he was cheating on me with different women. And I would see that in his phone. Then I gave birth and made sure I recovered first. My guy then went for, for a girl who lives near our street, found out again. I found it again. I forgave him. Then we started being physical with each other, be telling him to break up the girl. Okay, fine. Then he promised to change his doings, but my heart never trusted him again. So I started talking to this other guy, which he knows very well, just to pay revenge. Then today, my guy called me. This new guy called me. I was the I was with the baby daddy. Baby daddy knows his number. Then I told him the reason I started talking to the guy is because I wanted to hit him like what he, he was doing to me. So my guy acts weird now like he would just randomly looks at me for a long time and tells me he loves me. I know him from his previous relationships. He is going and he is planning to kill me. Please, any advice? Good afternoon. Currently, I hide my ID. I am a lady in my mid-twenties in the health sector. I have a female friend we met in college and they have been friends since then. When we finished school, we were supposed to do a paid internship at a certain organization because she knew someone there, but she told me the person didn't work there anymore. And so I forgot about it. Months later, I was randomly talking to her and then she mentioned she was at work at the same org. I was shocked. She told me someone else pushed for her. I asked if they could do it for me, but her response was they would be overwhelmed. I was dead, but I let it go. That passed, and my, by God's grace, I found a job somewhere else. Her internship finished, and now she was asking for my help. Because I'm a Christian, I forgave her, but it got me thinking about a lot of other things she has done in the past which I ignored. I should mention that I come from a comfortable family. So I get some privileges like flying out of the country and some some of my clothes and shoes are important. And that's another issue. I noticed a few jealous statements when she saw me with particular outfit and sometimes tried to compare with the local stuff, sometimes even comparing things in my home. I told mom about it and she told me that I should stay away from her. She could even do evil things to me. That could be true, but I feel bad for her. She is not working and there is a job opening in my workplace and I want to help her. But again, I am scared that 
if she tries to do something bad to me due to your jealousy yes guys thank you so much for sharing your stories we have learned from your stories to the first confession my sister you need to accept jesus as your personal survivor there is no other solution except jesus jesus is the answer say these words three times jesus i accept you and i know i believe that you are the son of god and you died for our sins please help me from this situation i'm facing in jesus mighty name amen as of the other two confessions thank you so much for sharing your full stories we have learned i will leave your stories to comment section they can be someone who can help you out just hope everything will work out remain faithful to god everything will be okay viewers that was our confession for today thank you so much for tuning in to our channel don't forget to leave a comment and a like bye for now thank you so much